when it was would have been easy to give up on the dream, Chris somehow got the fire to burn hotter. So this is what our new patient rooms look like. You can see it's incredible now to see the pieces come together. To build an iconic building like this here in the middle of the medical center is just incredible. Changing the skyline of a city is, is not something that everybody gets to do every day. You guys have built renderings, which is rare, right? Those are always, you know, the fancy, shiny things that they show owners and clients. Um, but this one actually came through, right? They held true to the design, held true to the renderings, and was supported by Medical Center to stand this great building up. Academic Health Science Centers are really special places. There's a unification of mission, and it doesn't matter if you're a pharmacy student or a nursing student or a medical student, developing and forming the health professionals of the future, and we want them to be the best and brightest. It's training the great professionals of tomorrow in specialties and subspecialties, and it's doing the underlying research that we can take from that bench, that laboratory bench, and bring to the bedside of that patient in their greatest time of need. A new space that's really designed uh, not only for great care, but also for great teaching and great learning. One of the more exciting parts of first and second year was being able to have hands-on experience with simulations. And to know that that's coming with this new bed tower is very exciting. To provide education for our medical students, for our uh, nursing students, for our residents, to be able to actually sit in those sim areas, in those conference rooms, and be able to see what's going on in the operating room setting. The biggest thing that I'm looking forward for this new tower is what we call the hybrid OR. This facility offers us the ability to bring every discipline conceivable to the care of any patient that needs it. What it's going to allow us to do now is really drive home not only our visualization that we'll be able to have at a much higher resolution and whatnot within the operating rooms, but it's going to allow for trauma or vascular or neuro all in the same room for the same case. We're expanding our operating room capabilities by 50%. We're able to step completely into a new perioperative complex. From the time you check in as a patient, from the time you recover, and everything in between will be brand new. This is really some, the start of something special. You're kind of seeing something come to life. Here in Tulsa, it's extremely easy to be proud of OU Health. For whatever we can't do here in Tulsa, we now have more opportunity for people to get those services within Oklahoma, not having to travel far away. Now, with telehealth and telemedicine, we can take care of people in every corner of the state using our subspecialist, leveraging our 1,300 plus doctors. Uh, we should be able to help a lot more people than we could have even dreamed of 10 years ago. This building will be a place of comfort for families and patients in a way that they've never seen before. This is a dream come true for our campus, for the University of Oklahoma Medical Center. Walking through these doors anywhere on campus calls for us to bring the best of who we are. We are here for Oklahomans today. We are here for Oklahomans tomorrow. I first looked at this window is for the first time I saw OU Health. I hope that we continue to tell that story as we move forward and that we all remember this moment. It's a family that we have that we built, not only the community and the state of patients, but our, our staff, our physicians, our students, our residents. It's bringing it all together. The hopes and dreams of our faculty here, we want to always be on the cutting edge. We always want to be advancing care. What potential we now see in this patient tower in OU Health is being noticed from coast to coast across the country about what OU Health is doing. Today's groundbreaking for this much needed and much overdue addition to OU Medical Center is a perfect example of how the future of OUMI will be operated. We will not defer high priority projects to fit into a capital plan set somewhere else. The advantages of managing to the best interest of our hospital system, our patients, our physician, and our staffs is fundamental as we go forward. Together we've had great success, but I am convinced and committed the future of OUMI will be even better. We have not seen the best health care experience we can offer to our patient and their families. Thank you again for your continued support and commitment to OUMI.